Hi, Gary Clayton here. Are you an historian or a futurist? I ask that question as it relates to doing and completing your tax planning and your tax return. Now, if you're an historian, you basically look to see what happened last year in the first quarter of the following year to then calculate your taxes. Now, you could have some surprises. You might owe more tax than you thought, have to go to try and find money, you might have to borrow money at high interest rates to pay by April 15th. Could be that you didn't take advantage of certain new tax deductions or new tax adjustments or new tax credits or a variety of other things that you could have taken advantage of if, in fact, you had looked at that. So we probably don't want to be an historian. We probably want to be a futurist. So as a futurist, what you do is you do some annual tax planning every year, typically in the first quarter of the year. Now, the tax code gets changed every single year, and so there's something that will probably have an advantage to you. And it does fall in those same arenas of tax deductions, new adjustments, new tax credits, and other areas that you specifically could take advantage of. Second, you want to look at your employer's benefits. Your employer provides different benefits to you. First of all, this may be a 401k, could be new, could be they changed and made new choices like a Roth version of it, could be there's more match, could be a variety of things. Why not check that out every year and see where that's at so you can make an adjustment. Also, they may have an HSA, it's a health savings account, or a flexible spending account. Both of those are deductible and you pay these health expenses on a pre-tax basis. That really makes big savings. Finally, they can have tax deferred uh, compensation and other kinds of tax deferred programs that might be available to you, you can take advantage of those. The last area is really about your own personal situation. You could be getting married this year, maybe having a child, buying a house for the first time, or other things that take place like uh, selling stocks and other assets that create gains where you can take advantage of various parts of the code as it relates to your particular circumstances so that you can reduce the amount of taxes that you pay. It's just good to be a futurist because then you control the taxes as best you can to basically put more money in your pocket so that you can build your wealth more quickly and it's about making really good, smart tax choices.